Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In today's video, I'll show you how you can upload your website to Netlify for free and set a domain with HTTP on it for free. Free domain, free HTTPS. So let's get started. So I have an HTML template set up. I got it online, but I'll have a link in the description so you can download it if you want to. And it's a simple one page but you can, it will be the same process if you do many pages of HTML. Now, if you use a program language that later compiles to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, it will be the same process, but it might differ a bit. It might require you to do some extra setup, but if you use React, I have you covered. You can watch uh, my React video on Netlify. It will be right here, right here. And once you watch that, come back to this video and go to the domain setup because I haven't explained how you do the domain and HTTPS setup on the React video. So yeah, if you want to do React, go ahead and watch that video first and come back for the domain and HTTPS setup. So step number one is to go to Netlify, which I'll have the URL down in the description. And we are on the signing up page, so you have the option to go with GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket or email. I'll choose email for this video. And now I already have an account, so I'll just get a temporary email. So, sign up. Now we should get a verification email. A welcome email, you can call it whatever you want. I'll click verify email. I'll just click that URL, but you don't have to do that. I just don't want to go to the to that specific page. So now you should be redirected to this page. Get signed up on Netlify. Now just put your full mail, full name. Sorry. Uh, put whatever you want here. It doesn't really matter what you select. I'll just put some random selections and set up and continue now click next next finished and that was it you sign up for a Netlify account so our next step is to go ahead and go on our website folder which we will have the html and assets like css and javascript and get the folder and drag and drop it right here on the sites now it says uploading and it uploaded pretty fast because it's a really small website but yours might take a while and now if we go on the url here it is it's live now everyone can view it without being on localhost like you was before so yeah it's it seems to be working. Now our next step is to go ahead and set up a domain. So for the domain part, we will go on the free known to get a free domain. But if you already have a domain, skip to this timeline. Now, so to get a free domain, uh, we will go to this website, which I'll have down in the description. And then we will click the desired name. So I'll do tutorial by Mike and check viability so as you see the domain is viable but a quick tip is if you go ahead and click get it now it won't work it says unviable not viable but the trick here is to put your name right here the desired name and then the desired ending so for example i want dot tk i'll put dot tk boom and now it should work as you see I don't know why it doesn't work with the previous method, but just do it that way and it will work for now. So I'll click checkout. Now I'm on the shopping cart. And for some reason it says your shopping cart is empty, which is really weird. I'll refresh page. And again, it says it's, it's empty. Let, let's go again and get that domain. So now it worked 
for some reason it didn't work before but i just redo it and it got me to the solving card page now on the period just select the 12 months because it's the full period that you can get for free now i believe after those 12 months you might lose it and then if you are fast enough you can re-get it for free but i'm not sure about that so i'll click continue but even if you get it for free like the .tk domains are not that good you should get a .com domain which is paid but it's only like about 10 euro per year so yeah it's pretty cheap so enter your email address so i signed in with my google account okay that's great so a verification link sent to your email let's go ahead and check that so i did get a verification email now just go ahead and click on that link right here and it will ask you for your details but i don't think it matters what you put just put a random in random details and then for phone number i don't think it, it even requires that so for some reason i got an error not found i'm not sure why that happened but i'll go ahead and go to the free gnome again page and try to log in so now if you again try to log in if you face that error just go ahead and go to services my domains and here it is you just got yourself a free domain for 12 months so what you have to do now is go back on the Netlify page go to set up a custom domain or click domain settings right here now it, it will ask you for a custom domain you already have one just copy paste it verify and it says that domain has already an owner is it you yes it is because we just got it and now the next step you have to take is click options and set up netlify dns click verify yes up domain continue and now go back to your free gnome manage domain name servers under management tools and click use custom name servers so we will set up the name servers from netlify so just copy one by one This will transfer ownership from Net, from Freenome to Netlify. So once you copy paste all, all, all of the name servers, just click change name servers. And it says changes saved successfully. But if you go back on your, on your domain setup right here, it says check DNS configuration, which means the name service hasn't set up yet. So it takes a while. It might take even a day to do a setup. So the name service transfer. So we might have to wait a while. So I'm lucky it didn't take more than a few minutes. And we successfully set up the domain right here. Now, if you scroll down, you should see waiting on DNS propagation. So that's because it tries to set up the HTTPS. Right now we don't have HTTPS, but you, you don't have to do anything right here. You just have to wait until the HTTPS is set automatically. So we will just do that. By the way, you can, you can also provide your own certificate if you don't want to use the free one. But it doesn't really matter, I guess. If you don't like do payments on your website, you're okay with the free one. So a quick tip I wanted to show you is there is a way to remove the .html ending on your URLs. So all you have to do is click right here, build and deploy. Scroll down to asset optimization. Click edit settings. Now click right here and then click on pretty urls and disable all the other ones and what that does is it rewrites your links 
and it removes the .html ending right here, like right here. So, for example, the slash about .html becomes slash about. So it makes your URLs prettier. You just click right here and then click save. And that won't take effect until you redeploy your website. So to do that, just go on the deploys and just drag and drop your folder right here. And that's it. So I finally got the certificate for HTTPS. So now if I scroll down, you should see right here, we got the certificate, which is let's encrypt the free one. Uh, it's pointed to my domains tutorial by mike.tk so now if i scroll up again and click on the domain if i click up here you should see connection is secured so we did it we deployed our website we set up free domain and we set up a free https certificate so i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like comment what would you like to see next and please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.